Hey guys, Ali here. How are you doing? Uh, welcome back to A Layman's Insight and another episode of Disco Elysium. Uh, I've just been looking through this a little bit and uh, obviously we have uh, we need to f call the Jamrock Public Library uh, tomorrow in the game and get them during op office hours, which I think was between, what was it, 10 and 6 or something? Uh, we still need to get the signatures for Everart. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that, as Isabel seems very determined not to sign. However, a number of things have obviously progressed in the game, and I'm not quite sure if that's affected her perception of things at all. Maybe I could tell her about Pale, and the fact that obviously that will crap all over the Union's plans, and she might be happy about that. But, you know, that would be a bit of a, a dick move. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. yeah. That is a toughie. You know, because we've discovered some new stuff about the pale, I kind of want to talk to Joyce again. I've not talked to her for a while. And I really need to get some kind of... Uh, in. I, I still need to kind of assert my authority over Titus. It's the only thing I haven't done with that conversation tree. And so I'm going to go to Joyce and see if there's anything that I can progress with her. Oh wait, I just realized we could talk to Cindy again. Because uh, we got a little bit more sort of insight to the skulls. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? This guy and fuck the world send their best. I don't believe it. I've never known those boys to have manners. Well, when they're talking to a police officer, everybody has manners. The bemusement in her voice doesn't fully mask genuine tenderness. Hmm. They seem to hold you in high esteem. They'll never be skulls, but, but their hearts are in the right place. Skulls are cool. Can I be a skull? Fat chance. <laughs> but you can still do your part to revitalize the neighborhood. Okay, how's that? She throws you a conspiratorial glance. Ooh. Then presses her finger to her lips and squints up at the sky, as though straining to hear something in the distance. Have you noticed the quiet? Every so often, you might hear a gunshot pierce the air somewhere in Jamra. But in Martinez, no gunshots, no sirens. The people are languishing in boredom and complacency. This place is a sepulchre. We'll paint it red. We bring the raucous. You bring the sirens. Okay, catch you later, Cindy. Nice talking to you again. To Joyce. <laughs> She's a weird lady, that Cindy. She has been since the beginning. Here's Joyce. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Hmm. I got some more questions about our reality. More lessons in basic reality? My favorite part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. Ah. Uh. No, there's nothing new. Had to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything else? That's a real tough one. But no, there's nothing new here. Okay then. Let's back. Let's get back to the cafeteria and quick travel to the fishing village. Cause I I want to talk to Isabel again and see if I can close that loop. I also still need to find a cassette with a sad song on it. Cause I I want to do karaoke. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Uh, let's see if the girl is still here. I remember I couldn't talk to her before from the other side of the fence, but oh, I can talk to her now. Great. She gonna moan at me for making Kuno lame. Trying to sneak up on me again. Trying to. All right, okay, not the same. 
Oh, sorry, I mean, it is just the same. Same reply as always. Okay, let's uh, get ourselves back to the cafeteria then. You know, I haven't talked to the two old men for a while. Let's see if they have anything new to say. Vigilance officer, what can this old carabineer do for you? Oh yeah, is there anything you can tell me about this rifle? It's a Bell Magrave. Ooh. 4.46 caliber. Lovely. Breech loading. Reversal made. Good weapon. Accurate and reliable. Okay. His moves are quick and precise as he first checks the weapon, then aims it at the sea. This man knows firearms intimately. Oh, wow. This one's inoperable. The bolt spring is missing and the mechanism is jammed shut. Still a beauty. Where did you find her? Sorry, I can't. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I'll just, I'll talk to. I'll, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. In the basement there. I'm not surprised. There are probably lots of forgotten wartime weapons lying around here. Back in the day, everyone had something stashed away. As for the rifle, I don't know what else to tell you. These BM 446s are an antique. No one uses them anymore. The ammunition is impossible to find. Hold my beer. I mean, okay, no problem. Thank you for your time. Let's talk to this guy again. See if he's got anything new to say. It is such a pleasure to see you again, officer. That's the same again. All right. Um, I kind of want to go to the pawn shop. Yeah. See if I can sell anything. And if I can, I will. And then uh, we will get ourselves to the fishing village. Did I not buy that already? I thought I did. All the old boom boxes are there, blinking and waiting to work. I oh, yeah, okay, I did. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. The boom box I bought, it should play this tape, right? Of course. It's in working order still, isn't it? Just pick your tape and set it spinning. It okay. all starts with the tape. All right, I have something else to sell. Sure, let me have a look. Okay, I like to sell my clothes. I'm not purchasing hmm. any more clothing at the moment. Uh, let's see here. I'll check my pockets. Anything else you're thinking of selling? Uh, yeah, I'll sell this. Postcard. I can sell a dog worker shift card. That is so strange. Shot pop ball. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Should I keep the gun? I don't I don't want to sell the, the dice. Like I bought that. For just over twice that much, so I don't wanna I don't wanna leave myself uh, scammed. Okay, done. I don't have anything else to sell at the moment. Time, perhaps. Leave. Alright, I wanna have a look at my inventory here. Uh the cassette. How how can I play that? Uh Tape player, okay. Items. Hmm. Right, it does say empty cassette case. There used to be a tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something in the... about... It and your single small church in St. Sains. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Must have rubbed someone the wrong way. The label says the song was recorded in 43. Alright. Alright, he says. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, yeah, I want to have a thought here. I want to... I want to... I want to I wanna learn this. It won't take very long, I don't think. Very good. Very, very, very good. Okay. And apparently I've done a quest. 
Oh yeah. All right. Let's head to the fishing village then. And speak with Isabel. And really try and twist her arm to sign this damn paperwork. Hopefully there'll be some insight that I can deliver to her to change her mind. I think I'll quick travel from the cafeteria though. Here we are. It's snowing again. God damn. Let's see if this guy is still talking to me, because I still feel quite bad for uh, having him kind oh, of look. brought out his friend. It's the cop who turned me into a bad person. Okay, bye. Damn it. I really liked him. He was a cool character. Now he doesn't like me. Hmm. I should really get some skill points from my authority, I think. Yeah, I should really do that. Anyway, for now, I'm going to use the quick travel. There she is. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? All right. Okay, 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 okay. Legendary. Legendary. Where is that? Am I blind? I think I'm blind. I'm not seeing it here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm blind. Um, hold on. Suggestion. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Right. Uh, suggestion. 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 Ah, suggestion. Yeah, I should really put some more experience points into there. All right. All right. All right. All right. I will try and convince her again. Well, no, actually, I never tried to convince her initially, did I? I just talked to her about it. Okay. I'm gonna go through the Just conversation trees. The place is so pornographic. She right, nods. nothing there. Not much. Something. So, no. She's not telling you all ah, she knows. Ah, here we go. Keep her talking. So, uh, she says that. What's this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've yeah we've been through this before. So I'm gonna say I get the feeling you're leaving stuff out. What else is going on? Well. There's that music. Music from across the sea. Uh-huh. <laughs> it started a few days ago. Whoops. And now it's blasting, even through the night. Okay, I think we might know who that is. And now, suspicious-looking people are sneaking around the church. I don't like that. Okay. Those would be the dance music enthusiasts in their tent. Okay, I think I've heard enough. She nods, rinsing another piece of cloth. I was hoping that that would uh, boost that a little bit, but let's go for it. It's oh. really best interest to listen to you. You know how the world works. Oh, well. Isabel, you must understand this place needs that construction project. Or financial compensation. She doesn't seem like a particularly material-oriented person. Uh, like, I remember talking to her before, and she was quite happy to be as old as she was, doing what she did all day with the laundry. But she did give me advice not to get old myself. You must understand this place needs that construction project. I've heard that pitch before plenty. Building this, building that, new jobs, new blood. Somehow, the people here always end up holding the short end of the stick. I could try and ask Everard to pay you some money. Were well, you dropped on the head as a kid? You can't live off a pittance for long. That's true. Do you know who takes the cream of these deals? Real estate developers, construction companies, restaurant owners, 
Claire's accountant in La Delta. Oh, okay. Have some integrity. You're an officer of the law. Not some fat slugs corrupt little crony. Hmm. It's okay. She's emotional right now. Keep at it. We're around. You know, there could be another way. You need to go someplace private and discreet, though. Like your chef. Really? Okay, goodbye, I'm off. Go to my shack, huh? Why do I need to come here? An old mirror hangs on the wall. You see your reflection in it. The expression. Fixed to your clean shaven face. Okay, let's have a look You're here. Still not accustomed to it. Still not. Ah. Uh. It won't come off. On the table, you see a bowl of water, a rough soap. All right. I'm not quite sure why I need to go to my shack though. Unless I need to sleep on it, maybe. No, I don't want to sleep on it just now. I have a feeling that we'll need to wait until the following day to get stuff done now. Um, I wonder if I can get her. This lovely little West Country lady to help me with this. Waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastards. <laughs> Simmer down, bastards. Why does she care about the waves so much? What is it with you and those waves? What is it with waves and fishermen? Oh. We need to be out there with them. Fair point. Fishing, making a living. So I asked them to accommodate me. Fair enough. That's a fair point. But until that happens, I can try to assist you the best I can. So what will it be, officer? Ah, uh, nothing. See you later. There's nothing there I need from you. Oh, I really do like your accent. Lovely accent, that is. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I still can't get into there. Can't sing karaoke. Should we sleep? I think I should sleep, yeah. Seems awfully early to be doing that, though. Awfully early. But I'm not going to be able to get any... Alright, okay, well, let's talk to the kids again here. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. Oh, yeah. The other watches him do it. You must be Lillian's twins. This one doesn't say anything. Kicking the concrete with his worn out sneaker. Lily, da, mom. Explains the other one, tongue still lolling out of his mouth. I already said that. The stone kicker laughs suddenly. His head is too large for his <laughs> shoulders. Uh. The other one laughs as well. Wow, so intellectually stimulating. Oh, yeah. The stone kicking isn't even of very high caliber. Anyone can do that. Do I really want to say that? Children are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the scruffy haired little kid laughs as though in agreement. You're stupid. The other one tells him suddenly and... Uh, yeah, the other one tells him suddenly, very serious. Okay, how about the policeman asks you something else now? Okay. Oh, I don't have anything else. <laughs> You're stupid. Okay, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave and not talk to you anymore. Just a second ago, the first one was laughing. Now, he's doing something with his lips and his gap tooth. All right. It looks like he's sad. Aww. Because you're going, or who knows, really. There's no system to this. You're being random. You're stupid. The other one repeats, still deathly serious. The secrets of understanding the tongues of children have been lost to you a but long time ago. Bye, kids. Take care. I can't... Can I go into this house? Yeah. The little girl's in here, right? The one who gave us the teddy bear thing. Or oh, the sheep, wasn't it? It was a sheep. 
I'm just wanting to kind of re retra retrace my footsteps a little bit here. Hello, mister. Are the twins outside your brothers? Yes. They don't want to play with me. They're older and play outside. All right. They look the same. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell them apart. They look identical, right? I said the same thing. They look identical. <laughs> she slowly processes the words, then snickers with laughter. Are you Lillian's daughter? Yes, I am. She... Little Lily. You know my mom? Yes, we met earlier. That's nice. My mom is great. She's never angry or anything. She has to look at the water and the fish all day. I'm not surprised. Bye. Okay, let's get back out of here. Honestly, I think uh, I'm really not sure what else we can do right now. I can try and find the guy on the coast, but I don't think I'm going to be successful. I might be wrong about that, though. Let's go and have a look. Oh, there's something over there to look at. Looking back at you from the rust-colored water, you... <gasps> Me? I'm surprised. Take a stroll along the coast here. See if I can find that professional man. Let's see here. I'm going to head off in this direction. There's some buildings and stuff over here, right? So. So I'm pretty sure there is. Memory serves. Oh, there he is! Oh, I found him! Brilliant! Ah, yes, our professional friend right here. Let's do this. As you approach. The man turns and greets you with a polite wave. Hello. He appears completely at ease, like a common holiday maker. He's enjoying his, uh, his, his R&R &R time. Ah, super. It's the officer. I was not expecting to run into you again, but things have a funny way of turning out, no? Mm-hmm. What brings you down to the scenic Martinez coast? Actually, I was wondering what you're doing out here. Mm. Well, that's très simple. I was visiting the fishing village just north of here. They have applied for a series of microloans to revitalize the old market. And well, I wish to see the situation first hand. Wise. And then, well, I had some extra time on my hands, so I decided to stroll down here. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yes. There's nothing like a stroll along the coast to lift one's spirits. Did you see the bullet holes in the wall over there? Ah? Is that what those pockmarks are? I might have guessed. Fascinating how much history is contained right here, if only one knows where to look for it. Mm-hmm. You feel like there's something you could say here, if only you really knew what was going on. Actually, there's something else I wanted to ask you about. Ah bon? I'm all ears, officer. Okay. I need your help to forming a committee. I'm trying to assign la responsabilité. My friend. If it's la responsabilité you're after, I have good news for you. There's no need to form such a committee, because it already exists. Oh, damn. Committees. God, of course it does. These moral intern types. The Comité de Responsabilité de Revachol. It acts as a sort of clearinghouse for coalition activities. To put it simply, they are the ultimate arbiters of la responsabilité in this part of the world. Brilliant. Yes, 
This is just the sort of reasonable authority you're looking for. I would offer to connect you with the committee myself, but alas, I am not actually in Martinez. What? Where is he then? Uh, yeah. He's speaking figuratively. He means he's not in ah. Martinez in his official capacity. I got it. You're not he You're only here on personal business. Precisément. Officially, I am still in La Delta, preparing for an upcoming conference on fuel oil derivatives. Riveting stuff. That's why it would be extremely irregular, or potentially even inappropriate, for me to intercede with the committee concerning a district I'm not officially in. Hmm, how am I supposed to contact the committee then? Well, under ordinary circumstances, the committee contacts you. Really? In other words... The committee only knows what it wants to know. But if you have information of a vital interest, they might be willing to entertain an exception. In which case, I would advise you to contact them via Coalition Warship Archer. Wait, what's Coalition Warship Archer? Officer, you mean to say that you haven't noticed the giant Coalition aerostatic peacefully patrolling the skies over Rivashan? You follow the man's gaze out toward the west, there amidst... The low-hanging stars. You can just make out signs of motion. It's a set of position lights moving in unison, like a restless constellation. All right. No, it's more like a creature from the abyssopologic zone. A great, dark, bioluminescent fish. Cool. Don't let the shiny lights fool you. It's a goddamn killing machine, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. It looks like a fish. Fascinating. I always thought it was more like a dragonfly. But isn't it interesting how humanity always finds inspiration in nature? Why do I need to go through the archer to speak to the committee? You see, in addition to being an airborne artillery platform, Coalition Warship Archer is also the linchpin of the Coalition's surveillance and communications infrastructure in Revachon. Hold on, is watching us too? And listening. It has the most objective vantage point in the entire city. Not to mention a vast array of radio, photographic and meteorological monitoring instruments. That's quite police statey. I find it a great comfort to know there are benevolent powers watching over all, in strict accordance with the Wayfarer Act and the Brüsselmüne Convention. So, how does one go about contacting a coalition warship? Hmm. This is quite the problem. Very tricky. Of course, the Archer has orders to fire on any unidentified aerostatics that might approach it, so it might be safer to get in touch from the ground. That's kind of what I was planning to do. But in that case, you would require a radio transmitter capable of broadcasting on coalition frequencies. And that kind of technology naturally isn't typically available for non-coalition use. Yes, it is a bit of a conundrum. I suppose there might be some way to circuit bend your way onto those frequencies, but you'd have to be one of those techno tinkerers to do it. Do you know any of those techno tinkerers? I don't have the pleasure. I am merely a representative of the coalition government. Not very well versed in technology. But you? Oh, sorry. Do I look like the kind of guy who's well versed in technology? Sounds like something that programmer we met in the church might be. Ah! Let me just say that I have complete confidence in the RCM. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Thank you for your time. Always my pleasure to be of assistance to the RCM. Godspeed. And if we don't meet again, bun shots. Thank you, Sunday friend. Epic. Okay. So now I'm going to head up to the church, I guess. A lovely quick travel later. I'm going to pop in here again and uh, talk to Suna and see if she can actually help us out. Uh, I want to get in touch with one of those things. Yes, what is it? 
I'm not a paying job, but it's not a paying job, but could you help me contact Coalition Warship Archer? You're asking me to circuit Ben onto Coalition radio frequencies. You want to know is it possible? Probably. But is it a good idea? I'm not sure sure. All right. The main difficulty will be finding an antenna powerful enough to reach those frequencies. Unfortunately, you can't exactly buy mega long wave antennas off the shelf. That's a shame. She's not joking. Even the RCM has to receive special approval from the Coalition to access that kind of equipment. The radio relay tower at Land's End, could that work? I highly doubt it. That tower is barely able to transmit shortwave signals across the bay. To generate mega low frequencies, we're going to need a much larger antenna. Okay. She has an idea though. You can see the tiny signal lighting fires inside her brain. I don't see any alternative. We're just going to have to build the antenna ourselves. Why don't we just use your AR-1? Because it's a completely different class of antenna. It would be like using a high-end racing carriage where a long-distance lorry is required. Okay, fair enough. We need metal. A lot of it. The taller the structure, the better. Something that is both prominent and easily accessible. If it's near a power source, even better. Alright. I'll let you work in peace. How did this update? Okay, so I need to conceptualize stuff. Yes, what is it? That's easy. Ah. Uh, Antennas are basically just tall things, right? We could use the steeple of this church. No, we could not. Uh, this church is made from wood. I'm not sure you understand how radios work. You might be right. I'll let you work in peace. All right, okay. That's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, I need to find a suitable location for the antenna. That was the objective, right? Come up with a suitable location for a giant antenna. Well, here? <laughs> right here? Or, um... Maybe the top of the... That doomed business building, perhaps? Very odd. Hmm. All right. I'm going to head back to the cafeteria and see if I can talk to that blonde lady yet. Because I really want to talk to her. To forward that case, at least. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to quick travel to Martinez Waterfront and go into the cafeteria and then go upstairs. All right, this is... Oh, well, I could talk to him again, right? Busy night, eh? Everybody's coming in for nibbles. Again? I can't believe this shit. Okay. Kim, who is this guy? Mm -mm. I'm not getting involved in Alright. No. I'm just gonna go upstairs. Just going upstairs. Let's see here. The door is closed. Still nothing. The lieutenant gives you a quick glance. Okay. He doesn't like where this is going. You should punch a fucking hole in it. I'm not going to say that. Should I punch a hole in the door? I mean, I can probably pay for the door. Punch the door. You slam your fist into the vinyl. Ow. It does not produce a hole. The door sits sturdily in the frame and your fist hurts. This was all a very good, normal thing to do. <laughs> right. Stop that. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Man, I am at a loss as to where to go next. Uh, I really am. I think the best thing to do is... I, I, I need to somehow waste time yes. so I can sleep. What is it? Uh, you're the police, right? Cool, I so am I. I don't... Don't say anything, Judith. Wait, is he police? Me? No. <laughs> I'm just a man with sunglasses. <laughs> I like wearing sunglasses inside. Sunglasses and a fucking wig. All right. Okay. Hmm. I'm just looking out for... You? Yeah. Maybe. No one. I'm just a man with sunglasses. And you are. Say nothing. I just want to do my job. That's all. She says quietly and looks away. Something about the man with sunglasses and you. The energy between you two is making her uncomfortable. Indeed. Again? Oopsie, sorry. I didn't mean to click on you. I wonder if Garter will let me in. Oh, no, he won't let me in there because I've already asked him about that earlier in the game. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. Touch the, the door. The blue surface feels rough to touch. Yeah. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame. Old cobalt paint. Rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted, maybe. It leads to a side building adjacent to this one. The old building next to... All right. I'm going to have to uh, take some time to think about this one, I think, because uh, I am really at a loss as to... Oh, I'll, I'll try and talk to Titus again, see if there's anything new here. It's you again. What is it? He acknowledges you gruffly. All right. I talked to Joyce. The merc you hanged. His friends are coming for you. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. By friends. You mean his squad mates from Cronell. Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. They're snickering in the room. Some of the men put their beers down. Nervous snickering. Oh. There's a rush of adrenaline present. Development. <sighs> yes, they're coming. They're forming some kind of tribunal and they're coming for you. This is what happens if you take the law into your own hands. Other people start doing it too. And then before you know it, you have a war. Let them come. The Hardy boys are right fucking here. You heard the man. Right here. We're armed. We got the whole district behind us and Glenn. Glenn is fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. I will oil it more than my chin. He punches Blondie on the shoulder. The mood is on the rise. They're feeling confident. Ready to punch out the whole Merc platoon. Alright. Joyce said they've gone rogue. Nobody is controlling them. Big fucking surprise. They hire psycho scum, arm them to the teeth and let them loose in the city. What do you think is gonna happen? The Cronell is bad news, you know that, right? <laughs> so are the local gangs. The fucking Barmy army. And the Madre scum. You've been out there. Seen any around? That's a good point. Yeah. Where are they now, huh? Send back to Madre in an airtight cargo crate. Ooh. These people are trained military professionals. Special forces, as you said. They're not a gang or barmy army. No, they're not. They're uncoordinated and drunk. We know more about them than you think. The mercenaries are, are armed with automatic weapons. We got weapons of our own. We got Easter 50s, Zilagars. Glenn's got a knock cannon at home. Will they even pierce ceramic armor? I guess we're gonna see. Aren't we? Really? He's really just gonna go in and wing it? That was an unsure phrasing. 
see what that they don't? Yeah. Like you've been up against ceramic armor. Have you seen my hands? I'm wearing it. He takes a sip of beer to bide his time. Then tries to get the last word in. You haven't even seen the whole suit, right? I've seen the whole fucking thing. And it didn't make him immortal. Yeah, but it was strength in numbers. So that's not entirely fair. Okay. What do you mean? Okay. I mean, okay, they're just gonna wipe you the fuck out, Titus. Or, okay, you got this, you got the numbers. Okay, I'll be on your side when they come. Okay, you got one more gun on your side. Once I find mine, I lost it. I mean, okay, I'll be gunning you down right alongside them. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the top one. Okay, they're gonna wipe you the fuck out, Titus. No, they won't. Get out of here with your negative energy. Negative energy? Now he's all spiritual. All he means is that the situation is serious. No wonder you cops get shot to shit every day. Can't go to war with an attitude like that. Okay. Let's try and establish some kind of authority here. Establish no. authority. Yes. <sighs> authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. First you tell me someone's been raped, and then you don't say who? That's bullshit. Uh, let's see here. I'm the only thing keeping this time from going to hell, and you're not helping. Kim, I need your gun. Oh, am I going to do that? Why? This is not what he thinks it is. This is a great idea. Okay. I'm afraid it's not what you think it is either. Oh, crap. Everybody calm down. This is only a demonstration. Kim, the gun, please. What in the name of fuck are you doing? But I don't want to give you my gun. Not after the last time. Hey, I was trying to shoot a dead guy in a mist. That's totally different from what's happening right now. What the fuck is happening, Titus? What are they whispering about? Easy, Shanks. I want to see where this is going. Uh, I know what I'm doing. It's not my first day in the police job. I'm not scared anymore. I know what I have to do. Uh, and what is that? I'm not entirely sure. He does not like that phrasing. Neither do I. There is no other way. I know what I'm doing. It's not my first day on the police job. Police job? <laughs> he tilts his head to the side as if inspecting you. A brief moment passes in silence. Then... The pressure in the room grows to a boiling point. Oh. Be careful. It's loaded. He unholsters and gives you his firearm. It feels oddly light and buzzing in your hand. Like a funny toy. Good. Now put it in your mouth. Eh, uh, what? That's not where I thought this was going. But I want to point it at them. I want to point it at them. Fa, quit your whining. Everyone knows how to do that. You're a special man. You're going to point it at yourself. Go ahead. Show them. Put the barrel in your mouth. What are you doing? The short coal barrel touches your lips. It tastes like iron and hell. Genuine panic flies across the lieutenant's face. Fellas, you getting any of this? I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. <laughs> These are my thoughts. This is my head. What in the name of mother fuck? I'm just hoping to freak him out, I think. He looks closer, squinting at you. Acidic taste on your lips. Corrosive. Once as a child, you put your tongue against the rail. It was winter. That was a long time ago. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I got my tongue stuck to it. What the fuck is he saying? Some insane shit. Nothing. Give me the gun. You'll never forget what happens if you don't respect me. Wait, do I really want to go there?
Huh. I'm not fucking this case up. You will respect me. We'll solve the case. Look at me. Don't worry. His demonstration is not helping. Ah, oh, damn. Inside the small mechanism, you can hear a spring tensing up. This isn't going to work, is it? Yeah. Because I sort of want to see that shit. You won't, man. His fucking balls ain't big enough. I'm going to go for this one. He's not going to off himself. Come on. No. He'll do it. Go ahead, son. Three, two, two, one. Do it. Get this one thing right. Uh, what? No. Give it to Lieutenant Kitsuragi. It's not too late. You can still spin this as some kind of tactic. All right. There will be no spinning. Do the honest thing. Pull the trigger. I don't want to do that. I'm going to give the gun back. Thank you. Nothing to worry about here, people. My partner likes to play these jokes. He's what you call dark. Yeah, just a bit. I, I have a very dark, well, I'd say dark, dry, sort of uh, weird sense of humor, but that, that, I, I, that's beyond me. He is infinitely grateful to have that gun back on his belt right now. With my saliva on it. Yum, yum, yum. Dark? <laughs> what the fuck was that, you carnies? Damn. We haven't seen RCM in four years, and this shows up? I knew he wasn't going to do it, though. I knew he'd pussy out. No, no. I still have my money on him. Sooner or later, he has that look. Let's go back to normal. Let's pretend this never happens. Do not think your failed suicide attempt will win you any pity from these men. Do not expect them to forget it soon either. Again, damn. Dark joke. Damn, damn, damn. Maybe we should go for a little walk, Joker, before we continue. Jogging your arm seems to have a positive effect on you. Yes. Get the serotonin running. Keeps mm. those bad thoughts away. Okay. I'm going to take off. Yeah, I don't think I played that very well. Doesn't help that I lost a like a, a two two to one chance of What in the name of hell was that supposed to be? Actually passing that check. The lieutenant is gritting his teeth. The theatrical suicide attempt. We need to talk about it. Okay. Yes, I want to talk about it as well. Yes. Well, I was able to recontextualize it as a dark joke. I will not be able to recontextualize it the next time. I'm not going to do it next time. I understand you sometimes employ extreme interrogation tactics, but I want you to understand that was too extreme. How close am I to a... Oh man, I'm miles away from a skill point and I need something in authority because I, I really don't think I have anything else to hit that guy with to boost that percentage. We can't have RCM officers going around putting guns in their mouths. We can't afford to have that image. Few institutions can. Uh, let's see. I went with my gut feeling, and this time it was wrong. That's kind of what I did. I honestly thought we were going to be able to aim it at him. Yes. Very, very, very wrong. I'm glad you see it my way. Damn. Oh, that is unfortunate, that. That really is. I'm going to talk to this guy. Hi again, Gendarm. He doesn't have anything Bye -bye, else to Gendarm. say. Right, yeah, I, I need to think about this. I need to think about what I'm going to do next. Because uh, I still have an hour of daytime to, to get rid of before I can sleep. And, uh... Yeah, that check didn't go as well as I would have liked it to. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, we made some progress. It's, 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 it feels like I'm kind of pulling teeth right now, but I'm looking forward to actually getting some more momentum going here. I'm going to go and have a think about what I should do next. Um, but I will be back in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. And uh, if you did, 
you can always hit that like button. Uh, if you want to stick around for the rest of the game playthrough, make sure to subscribe before you go. For now though, take care and I will see you in the next episode and hopefully I'll have an idea as to what I'm going to do next.